Gene Pauly is Peter here with some pickups. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. Sergeant Rock, number 300. Sergeant Rock, number 233. I love Cooper's artwork. Yeah, it's a shame. Um, Our Army at War, featuring Sergeant Rock. Issue 211. That's an awesome cover. Our Army at War, issue number 180. Oh, this is nice. It's not in the best condition. Uh, it's not bad either. But, um, yeah. Superman, number 219. Um, usually, you know, I only picked it up basically because of silver, so. A little Kirby, the Demon, uh, issue nine. Okay. coming up. Issue nine, I think. Tower of Shadows, number four. Uh, this is in actually really good shape. I really like this. DC Special presents Superheroes: War Against the Monsters. I thought actually this would be, you know, really worth something, but it, yeah, it wasn't. But it's still a cool read. I enjoyed it. Some nice Wrightson artwork here, and I actually have a video I'll be showing later of some Bernie Wrightson that I picked up. I went ahead and took uh, Captain Strange Life's advice and picked up uh, the Bernie Wrightson portfolio, and so I'm going to have, I was waiting to get a frame to uh, show it off, but I, I just want to show it off now. <laughs> So this is House of Secrets 103. Beautiful Wrightson. Another Bernie. Uh, uh, House of Secrets 117. A voodoo. This is in really high grade. Uh, X Men King Size Annual number four. You have the one where Tiger's naked. This is a reprint from the Silver Age of X-Men 86, and this is really poor condition, um, but uh, it's cool. It's got the Vanisher and the blob, blob on front. Yeah, sorry. This is X-Men 86. Another Kubert here. This is uh, the first appearance of Ragman. A really odd character. But, uh, yeah, issue number one, Ragman. Kubert. Weird Wonder Tales, number one. And I picked it up basically because it was a number one and it's a monster reprint. Um, I love, you know, I, I love monster books. And a better copy of issue one, Weird Wonder Tales. Weird Wonder Tales, number two. Excuse me. <clears throat> Battle of the Planets, uh, issue ten. Uh, this is the original series. 1979. Beautiful cover. This is my second copy of this. Tower of Shadows, number seven. And Titano. This is Kirby artwork here. Ghost Rider, issue number 18. Appearance of the Thing and Hercules and Spider Man. Uh, this is in rough condition, though, but it's uh, I needed it, so. Kid Colt, number 131. Um, this is a nice Silver Age book. It's in good shape. Thick square bound. And this actually has a crossover of Raw High Kid, which is really cool. Um, I'm starting to get more into these cowboy ones from uh, uh, the Silver Age. And, uh, yeah. These are reprints, actually, though. So at this point, they're reprints. Uh, Wanted, number four. And I actually have a book I'm going to show in a moment. Uh, it's Wanted, number one. And it's double covered. It's beautiful. Okay. Uncanny Tales, number one. More monster books. Uncanny Tales, number two. It's Bronze Age Marvel. Um, and I went ahead and picked up the rest issues of the Infinity Gauntlet. Issue number one, two, and four. So there's 
those. And so don't ask me what issue they are, but they are um, in sequential order. Uh, so Star Trek. That was issue 25. Star Trek. Issue 29. That's issue 31. Yeah, I really love these painted ones. These dinosaur one there. And then a Mimoy. And these ones had the photos up here. Crazy Baby. It's when uh, Kirk and Nimoy uh, can change into babies, children. This one is about ostriches. This alien cover. Trust the immortal. Now the condition starts getting better on the books as we get further down. I love this cover. And now we've gone to the their photo in the television set there. Nice enterprise shot there. This is real high grade, this one. This one's called Spock vs. Slot. This nice colorful photo here, or cover I mean. Couple of doubles. And this I believe is the drug issues. Yes. That's what's in her hand, a pill of some sorts. The infamous drug issues. Drugs are always a touchy subject in comics. And Spider-Man was not... Spider-Man and Stanley weren't the only ones to deal with it. Many, many artists had a hand in it. Alright, we have a few Marvel and various other ones. Uh, Daredevil number 79. Man Bull. This one, a really nice. I didn't even notice until after I bought it. It says Gary up here. Uh, so you got Spider Man appearance. It's always good. Really nice cover. Really nice Neil Adams Batman. 224. Mike Grell's first artwork on the Green Lantern. This is after uh, Neil Adams' phenomenal run on Green Lantern. And this is issue 90. This is Textos in Gunslinger, issue number one. And this is Starenko. Starenko's artwork. Really nice Bronze Age book. And we got the Joker, number four. This, these comics, the Joker title keeps showing up in my collection. I always come across them, and uh, yeah, they're they're good. They're good. I like them. And this got an appearance of Green Arrow. This here, awesome book. I love it. I recommend this to anybody out there. Um, this is the first appearance of Death. Really great book. This is in the low grade, but if you can get a high grade copy. Excellent. It's called Wars Hell Number Nine, and this is Wars Hell Number Eight, starring Sergeant Fury. And we all know what this is. This is Star Wars Number One. It's not the 35 cent variant, but it is a very, very, very high grade. This is awesome. This is Hanna-Barbera's Super TV Heroes, issue number three, 1969, 60, yeah, 69. 
And you gotta love Space Ghost, Young Samson, Birdman, and Shazam. Also, Moby Dick. Love this. Absolutely love this book. UFO Flying Saucers, issue number two, I believe. Great. Just, I love these uh, gold key sci fi covers. <clears throat> Dr. Sola, Whitman variant, issue number 31. Dr. Solar, I guess, to make sure what issue it is. Just bear with me. Yeah, I'm not even sure. I think it's issue number 26. And this is issue 25. This is 23. Beautiful cover. Maybe that's 25. Yeah. I have no idea. I've lost count. Anyway, one of these is issue number three. So, really nice Silver Age Dr. Solar's Man of Adam. This one's in a beautifully high grade. I don't approve of CGC in books, but that one really deserves to be. I don't know how it's... I've never seen it before. This is just incredible. Anyway, so those are some of my recent pickups. I also have some other books. Actually, you know what? I was going to do another video, but I, I guess I'll just show them in this one too. As you can tell, I've done a lot of picking up. So, we have Avengers 42. Superman, number 254. This is, uh, contains seven pages of, of Adam's artwork. Strange Tales, Warlock, 181. Deathlock, The Destroyer, number 34, Astonishing Tales. Hex. Oops. This is going terribly. Hex number six. Detective Comics number 629. And this is from my good buddy Mike. Detective Comics 647. 630. I haven't read any of these yet. 631. 633. This is a great cover. 634. Uh, a couple books my girlfriend picked up for me. Avengers 128. Ghost Rider issue 56. Black Condor number one. Detective Comics 628. Batman number 381. Uh, Avengers 123. Amazing Adventures, Certain Kill Raven, issue number 30. Some reprints here Amazing Adventures, issue number 2 of the X Men. And uh, this actually um, is the reprint of the second story in issue number 1. So it's really cool. Amazing Spider Man 148, and this is Clone Story. It's a low grade, but that's a gift from my buddy Mike, the Nine Claw. Amazing Spider-Man, 188. Iron Man, number 245. The Defenders, number 45. Defenders, number 31. Captain America, number 271. Captain America 215, Captain America 141, and Amazing Spider-Man 319. 
and that's it um, I have a couple of videos I don't know if they'll be going up before this one or after but I'm going through my collection and picking up some books that I want to trade and the, I know the first video is going to be um, my real back issues ones that I just uh, I just gotta get rid of them and then I'm gonna move on to titles I collect and stuff like that and the doubles I have uh, within those collections so um, enjoying all your videos and this is Gene Paul Ace Peter uh, signing out